Hello to all my subscribers, to all the believers. This is your mentor, Billy De La Fuente. And for tonight's special box break, we have invited a very, very, very special guest. No other than my son, Godfrey. Can you tell them the average box break of the box that we're about to open? It is a black basketball hobby box, one auto relic, two base cards, and two para base parallels. As you can see guys, instead of just speaking Tagalog, now I have to speak in English because my son is English speaking. He's <laughs> not Tagalog, but I'm very excited to try different things, diba? Ayos. So, uh, this box has been released last September 21, okay, 2020. And take note, we only have, uh, this box only have five cards. So, tonight's box break will be a very, very short one. It's actually our 16th. So, Godfrey, are you excited? I mean, what can you say about me inviting you here to do a vlog with me? I'm very excited. And me too as a parent. Why? Because a few days ago, I was surprised when I saw the first, actually the second vlog that you uploaded. And I'm very proud because you were the one who, sh who shot the, the vlog by yourself. At the same time, you were the only one who edited it by yourself. Yep. So, yep. <laughs> 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 so he only says yup. Yes. A very good boy. So what can you say for today? For today's vlog? I hope it will strike gold and find a very good card. Yes, so this is like a family bonding, okay? My wife as the director, the videographer, and my son as my co-host. Yes, so for tonight, Godfrey's task will be... Ring the bell. Yes, it's going to be the bell boy. <laughs> okay, so give it, give it a kiss. Yeah, pin. Yes, okay, so guys, I hope we could really hit... Okay, a one of one, or meaning a one of a kind card. Okay, it has a very high in value. Okay, because uh, it means that Panini only made one card. Okay, wala ka kaparehas. So, if you're ready, are you ready? Yes, are you ready? Yes, okay. So, <laughs> let's do this. Oh, Godfrey. <laughs> so, magic, right? This is my trademark, the black gloves for the black Panini NBA trading uh, cards for tonight. And so, before I open this, Godfrey, who is your favorite basketball player? Uh, Michael Jordan. Oh, same with me. So, why is MJ your favorite player? He is my favorite because he is the only one that I know. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> I know that basketball is not your thing, but at least you know Michael Jordan yeah. because of me, right? Okay, so if you're ready, are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> are you guys ready? Okay, so let's open this. Okay. Okay, so Godfrey, what are you going to do when we get a big hit? Ring the bell. Yes. Okay. Boom! Ta -da! All right. So guys, one autograph relic with two base cards and two parallel cards. Parallel are like uh, next level versions of the base card. So as you can see here, it's for 2019-2020 season. And then let's check out any details from here. So features a 95 card set including a 65 base numbered to 149 and 30 rookies numbered to 149. So we're hoping and praying to get it's either a Zion. Oh, okay, Zion is um, one of the best rookies, but the rookie of the year is uh, Jamarat. So Zion, Jamarat, okay. But of course, if we get autographs from Luka Doncic or um, LeBron James, diba? why not? Chocolate. Okay, so let's open this. Ta -da! <laughs> so that's it. Empty box. And this is it. Cheese! Wow, it's so small. <laughs> okay, so okay, so let's do this. Let's open. Let's rip this pack. Okay. 
Godfrey. Oh, we forgot something very important. Okay, pin, blind kiss. Ching! Yo! <laughs> Godfrey, okay, okay. Papaguenas, go. Yan! Okay, double whammy. So for tonight, I can feel it. We can have a big hit. Okay. Uy! There's a very thick card. Huh? Damn it. Okay. And our first card. Okay. Matisse Taibul. Okay. Ching. Wait. I thought there were only five cards. Yes, there's five cards. Definitely. So, first card, Matisse Taibul. Ooh. So, Shiny. Shiny. <laughs> so this is a rookie card of Matisse Taibul. And it's numbered. See? It's what? 33 uh, over 49. 49. Yeah. So we're looking for cards who is uh was a serial number of one of one, right? So Matisse Taibul. I think this is a a base card. Okay. A shiny base card. Okay, next. Next card. Okay. Next card is DeAndre Ayton. Wow! Godfrey! Ching, ching, ching! Five Four five. more! Yes! So we got a five, five of five. five. DeAndre Ayton. Okay, wow! Wow! Ooh! <laughs> nice! So, the quality of the card is really good. Okay? It has a rec reflective effect. Okay. Yep. Five of five. Okay. So we have the next would be the thick card. But instead of doing the thick card, okay, we'll do the next one. Ching! And our third card would be Cameron. Cameron Johnson. And it's also a numbered card. 13 of 49. 149. Oh. Okay. Cameron Johnson. So this is uh, uh, a rookie card. Oops. A rookie card. Oops. And alright. We'll save the last one for Godfrey 2. Ching! And fourth card is Chris Middleton. It's also actually numbered 106 at 64 over 149. 149. So he's the second second man next to Giannis, no? In the Milwaukee Bucks. Okay, Godfrey. Okay, do the honors. The last card, RPA. One, two, three. Yep. Kendrick Nunn. Yes. Wow. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> nice. Kendrick Nunn. 4 over 10. And it's a autograph. Okay. RPA. Rookie Patch Autograph. 1, 2, 3, 3 color. Boom. Wow. Wow. So it's a rookie card. Okay. Uh, by Kendrick Nunn. Nice. Overall, not bad. Of course, from all of the five, this card is the best. Okay. Nice one. Yay. So which one is. Your pick. Uh, okay. God, Godfrey's pick. I go with this one. This one because it's under 10, right? Yep. And for me, if you pick that one, so I have no choice but to pick the next one, which is uh, this one. Okay, 5 of 5. DeAndre Eaton. Second would be Cameron Johnson. Yeah. Okay. So it's here. Alright. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. High five. Boom. So guys, <laughs> we have a very, very fast box break. It's our 16th box break, Believer's box break. But of course, before we go, we need to share some realizations and learnings from me and my son to you. Okay. So guys, syempre, tagayin muna natin to. Oh, ha? Galing. Magic na naman. Nawala. But this time, Okay, my hands is very, very sweaty. Sweaty, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, all right. 
So, before we go, we'll share a little bit, a little bit of our insights. Learning number one, start them young, okay? So, for me, whatever my son uh, wants to collect, at least I'm showing him that, uh, you know, he can also earn and the same time invest in trading cards, sports cards, Pokemon. Remember, you love Pokemon, right? Yeah. If you only knew that those cards would increase in value, right? You would have yeah. taken care, good care of them. Yeah. You have so many Pokemon cards. Would you know? Would you believe that there's there was one Pokemon card that was sold for about a million dollars? Yeah. What what card was that? Uh, it was a rare Japanese Pikachu. Oh, or Charizard. Uh, I don't know. Mm. But so you know. At least, when they start really young, they can have a solid foundation in terms of business, in terms of having responsibility because now, right, you'll be, you'll be what, starting to collect cards as well. It may, it may not be NBA cards but it can be Pokemon or Magic cards or any cards that you yeah. want to, to collect. And number two, so Godfrey, what did you realize? I realized. What, what did you learn for tonight? I realized or learned that cards are not only used for playing or just collecting, they can also be used like this. for... <laughs> <laughs> no, they can be used for... Uh, well, you can sell them or wait for them to grow in value to sell. Nice, okay. Realization number three. Be a good example. Of course, me being as a parent and as a dad, I want to set a good example to my kids that you can impart good traits and values, okay, to them by showing it to them. It's better to show them and teach them actual rather than just saying it to them. So, with this NBA Cards passion project of mine or small business, at least I can grow my personal collection by buying and selling or trading. If he learns how to do this, okay, he will learn how to handle money. He can know how to uh, be more responsible enough to take good care of his cards or his collection. And he can be more frugal, okay? Realization number four. I also learned that Everything my dad does is not only easy, but it could get hard as well. With cards, handling the home, and taking care of us. So, I know that life is not hard, but with family, everything can be made easier. Boom! That's the most important realization for tonight, okay? And on top of that, realization number five and the last is no man is an island. So, for me, as you can see, family is very important, okay? We learn together, we play together, right? We achieve together. At the same time, we and sometimes we fall together, right? We commit mistakes. But at the end of the day, family is family. Alright. So that's it, Pansit. I hope you guys enjoyed our very short Believers Box Breaks number 16. If you want to watch more vlogs and videos, all you have to do is to subscribe down below, comment, hit the like button, and share this video. And or follow me on my social media accounts in Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, TikTok, at Billy De La Fuente. And, and, okay, most important is we are giving away 20 prizes for all of my subscribers once we hit Okay, uh, the 20,000 uh, subscriber, 20,000 mark. Okay, all you have to do is to watch the link uh, on my Facebook account. And Godfrey, you, this is the time for you to promote your channel. Go! Uh, my channel's name is Godfrey James. You'll see my face as the profile picture. And I just reached 100 subscribers, so yay! Yay! And with that, this is your mentor, Billy De La Fuente. And Godfrey James. Signing off. Yes. Bye. Bye.